the cute waitress. You just moved into your new apartment in a very big city. After a year of this life, you have almost given up hope on making any friends, be it at work or any other means. You feel very lonely. After looking for a peaceful place to spend your time, you find a quiet diner on the outskirts of town. The waitress is very attractive. Also, she seems to be the only employee there, ever. You never see anyone else eat there, ever. The place is perfect for you. Making love to her becomes a routine. You go there every night for dinner, and then to see her. You eventually make other friends and eat that diner less and less. After some time, you stop going completely. At a ball with your best friend, you tell him about the fun you had with the waitress at the diner. He says he absolutely must see her. You take him there one night, but the building. It is in a state of ruin. The front door barely opens. The grimly insides of the diner are disgusting, and behind the counter is a moldy corpse, reeking of pus and rot. When the police come to the scene, they interview both you and your friend. You are shocked to hear that the body is of a runaway girl from another province. The police tell you this is a homicide, and that she was also raped dozens of times after she was killed. The police say that they can get a match for DNA and eliminate you as a suspect. Why are you suddenly worried? Focus. Did you ever see one of those videos where you were asked to look for? or follow a specific thing throughout the video. Then, at the end, they revealed that they were actually watching. Something large and intrusive moved around in plain sight, and you never even noticed it. It's frightening how often that happens, like how I just moved from your doorway into your room as you listen to this. Scott yawned and dropped his keys on the bedside table, his fiancée already wrapped up in the blanket on her side of the bed. As he undressed, Jane murmured, Hurry up, sweetheart. I'm freezing. He switched out the light and climbed in next to her, rubbing his leg against her arm. Scott stifled a cry of surprise. God, you are freezing. That's why you're here to warm me up. Jane had always been colder than him. She preferred the summer while he would always prefer the winter. You could always put on more covers, more clothes, but you could only take so much off in the summer. His phone vibrated on the nightstand, and wearily he lifted it, squinting his eyes as the light blinded him momentarily. A cold arm wrapped around his waist, and he shuddered against the chill as he adjusted his eyes to the text he had just received. Hey, sweetie. Sorry I'm so late. The work dinner turned into drinks. You know how the girls are. The arm tightened around Scott.